Welcome D-Lab everybody. I received another big heavy box in the mail. So let's open it up and see what surprises await us. So this box comes all the way from California. It was supposed to weigh about 36 pounds, but the tag says one pound. Isn't that odd? I'm surprised. UPS didn't stop the shipment until that was corrected. I'm sure they got their money. Alright, another very well packed box. Layers of large bubble wrap. Makes me very happy. I don't have access to my big bench. It's kind of full of transmitters at the time. I'm going to tip this thing up on the side and you won't believe what's in this box. So even though I have a box here that at least weighs 35 pounds, you take a look at the shipper and it says weight is one pound. I wonder how this got here. All right, we'll tip her up. Like I say, it is pretty heavy. Don't want it to fall out. This is another relic from the 1950s. Take a look at that baby. It is a general radio beat frequency oscillator model 1304B in just premium condition. Looks just like brand new. Alright, here's a close up of the generator. This thing is just in gorgeous condition. These generators are really neat. They're audio generators so you can use them to work on amplifiers. The first scale is 0 to 20 kilohertz continuous. So you simply keep rotating this dial and she'll go all the way up to 20 kilohertz. Then if you want to go from 20 to 40 kilohertz, you flip the switch to where it says add 20. So normal would be the direct scale. Add 20, it would start at 20 kilohertz and go up to 40. This thing is just immaculate. Let's pop the shell and see if the inner workings look as nice as the outside. We'll take out two Phillips screws on the rear and this heavy aluminum chassis slides right out. There is the inside. Just look at that construction. And there is the big crazy variable tuning capacitor. What a marvel of engineering. Now here's the bottom side. I don't see any leakage from the filter caps. I don't see any signs that anybody has been in this unit. I understand it came from the original owner. Everything looks great. Now the next question is, will it power up? So I'm going to bring her up on a Bariac. I have no idea how long it's been since this guy's been powered. So I'm monitoring the current and I can already see it pulling amperage. I'm going to bring it up nice and slow, give those filter caps a chance to charge. Hopefully she'll come to life. All right, I am up to about 75 volts. Already have indication that she's probably going to operate just fine. Next I'll put a scope on it. We'll see if we're getting anything from the output terminals. Okay, I'm applying 100 volts. You can see our dial lamp is on. Tube filaments are on. And I can see the purple glow of the OD3s. I've hooked up a scope to the outputs. Take a look. Looks like my control is pretty dirty. There she is. There is the output. I'm going to vary it. Excellent. With a little bit of cleaning, this baby will be back in operation soon. So it looks like I got lucky on this purchase. I actually bought this generator off eBay, and you know it can happen on that site. In this case, I got lucky. It was not misrepresented. It's a great piece of equipment. I can't wait to put it in line and test some tube amps with it. 